Thank you very much. Um, it, um, it's, it's excellent that uh, this has been organized and so that, uh, I mean, you have more information about what neurosurgery is about and what you may be interested in than I think any of us had uh, previously. So I think this is a very worthwhile thing and hopefully it'll go on on a, on a, on a yearly basis. Um, this is hydrocephalus. Uh, this is one of the most frequent things that we, we take care of in, in pediatric neurosurgery. This is a child three years of age, and it came up from Mexico. And this is my indoor record for head circumference. I think that's, what, 90, a little over 92 centimeters. Fortunately, I don't think as medical students or, or, uh, or as practicing neurosurgeons you're going to see this type of thing anymore because we are able to take care of hydrocephalus like we were not able to do before. Here's a newborn born with hydrocephalus. Often now uh, these uh, problems are picked up uh, in fetal uh, life and uh, we have ultrasounds and then <clears throat> with the uh, ultrasounds pick up a problem, then we usually get a fetal MRI. So one of the things that's advanced uh, our able, ability to take care of, of children and what you're seeing here from all these other areas as well is imaging, imaging, imaging. And through imaging, we've really been able to significantly improve our ability to diagnose and treat. Uh, here, ultrasound, normal size ventricles, there's moderate dilatation, and then here is someone with a progressive hydrocephalus and we need to treat this so that we don't have that patient that we, I just, uh, just showed. Um, this is CT scan, which came uh, not too long ago. In fact, uh, I didn't have CT scan when I started my residency. We were doing air studies. We were put, tapping the ventricles and putting air in and then getting just CT scans. And there's all these elaborate type of things. So, twist the, the, the baby around to get the, the, the diagnosis. And this is putting a shunt in. You can see the ventricular catheter. And this is the same patient that uh, was in the previous slide. So we can make a huge amount of difference in, in treating hydrocephalus. And now we've gone even further uh, having uh, MRI studies. Here's a T1 image showing acute hydrocephalus because you can see like on this T2 image that there is changes around the areas uh, surrounding the ventricle. And we can take care of these. And uh, our success rate is getting better and better all the time. Uh, it, shunts really didn't become available to the 50s and that was because